Let's continue our getting organized journey with org mode. Today we will be talking about checkboxes, which is a relatively simple concept, but later on we will use that as a base for more interesting ideas. As you know, in org mode you can create lists and you have two types of lists. You have unordered lists and ordered lists. So let's go ahead and create our morning routine and let's start with an unordered list so I can let's say do 50 push-ups do 25 pull-ups do 50 squats and meditate for 20 minutes this is an example of an unordered list we can quickly convert it to an ordered list by changing just this, the first item of this list. So let's go ahead and change this. And by typing Ctrl C, Ctrl C, the rest of the list is being transformed. We can repeat that using the plus sign, which is another sign for unordered lists, or we can go back and again convert it to an ordered list. Let's keep things simple by using the dash sign. We would like to now be able to mark some of those items as done as we go through our morning routine. And we could convert them to headlines, but we can also use checkboxes, which is just uh, square brackets, like so. And those characters are recognized by org mode. And now by just pressing enter, I can change the state and I can mark some of them as done. So the first state is obviously for a task which is not yet done. The second state is for something in progress. This will be clear in a moment. And the third one is for marking it's, it as done. I can nest checkboxes as well. For example, I can add a sub list of checkboxes. And now if I mark one of those as done, as you can see, the parent has this in-between state, which says that the list below has some items done or some changes to it. And once we mark all of them as done, the parent is marked done as well. So if our list is short as in this example, it's pretty easy to track it, but we may need to know how many items are done in this list. So we can add a marker which is also called a cookie in org mode by using the square brackets and then by using the slash sign. And when I press Ctrl C, Ctrl C, it is replaced by the actual count. And now whenever I mark some of the tasks, the counter is updated. If I'm interested in a percentage, I can use the percentage sign and now the counter is expressed as a percentage and it works the same way as before. Checkboxes in org mode are just a simple way to do some tracking. It's important to know that checkboxes cannot be used with tags, so I cannot assign a tag. I cannot assign a priority. It's just a simple marker that something is done or not done or in a state in between. Checkboxes are usually used for creating checklists. In one of the future episodes, we will see how we can repeat certain things because it would be nice to each morning start with, a, with our morning routine, which has all those items in the unmarked state. But we will see that in the future. That's all for today. May the Emacs Force be with you.